Alrighty, what in the world am I doing? It's a construction update. I feel like I haven't done one of these in ages, but we visited Hershey Park and oh my goodness, there's content to come. And uh, we got to film a little construction update for Candymonium. However you pronounce it, I think it's Candymonium. Um, comment down below and correct me if I get anything wrong. But I was not expecting to see track, so that's really exciting. Um, I don't know why, I haven't been following this project, but the station pieces are in, the break run pieces in, and the storage um, shed pieces are in as well. The transfer track piece is not in. I think that's actually the last piece to go in if it was for Yukon. Um, but yeah, definitely uh, one of the last pieces to go in. Everything else is looking like it's got a lot of work to be done. Um, so this is definitely a 2020 coaster by the looks of things. Um, but I don't hate the color. I know a lot of people don't like the color. I don't hate it. I've never had a problem with brown track, but I will say the station area even without knowing what it's going to look like, already looks impressive. This thing looks massive. Um, and then outside of it, it just looks like it's going to have a lot of like um, pretty neat designs to it based off of the skeleton to the building. Um, I'm definitely liking the looks of it so far. I, I, I don't know. I've just never seen something so large for a station building. I'm pretty excited about that. I know it's going to have a really nice fountain area. I, I know the big um, question is, Will it be like Mako? Is it going to be as intense as Mako, like this new style uh, B&M coaster? I know a lot of people thought it was going to be six cars, not seven. Um, oh, sorry, that's the wrong project I'm talking about. Or no, is it? Is it? Is, no, this is it. So some people were talking about due to the rendering that just came out recently um, that it's only going to be six cars, but it actually is going to be seven from what I heard. Um, so it won't be six. It will be seven. And uh, to be honest, I'm pretty excited for it. Any new B&M somewhat close to where I live is super exciting. Can't wait to maybe eventually get out and go on it. I'm not going to be going to Hershey Park next year, I don't think. I'll explain why in uh, my videos coming out. I know I have some really controversial opinions about Hershey Park and things there. Um, but I'll explain that in a video. But nonetheless, this is looking really impressive. Again, it doesn't look like it's anywhere close to being done. Like when I looked at the project, I was like, wow, they got a lot of work to do. The river alone looks really ugly. Like there's so much to do and so much going on. And it's just like, I am like, I don't know what they're going to be able to do to get this open. Like first thing in 2020 when the park opens, but we've seen worse. We've seen things come together um, near the end really quickly. Um, something I am really excited about is the um, shops area for Candymonium and this new area. So they're going to have a lot of, it's almost like outdoor Disney or downtown Disney, I believe, where you'll be able to walk around without getting a ticket into the park and do shopping, like get food, like so you know if your parents or parents are with their kids and they don't want to go into the park necessarily, they can go do other things instead of the theme park. So that's super exciting. I would love to see the future of Hershey Park because, um, I'm going to be honest, it was one of the ugliest parks I've seen in a, in a while. I did not like it. Um, so I like that this new area is going to be really stunning. And I hope that they push that inwards to the park. I do not like parks with tarmac. I thought it was horrible. It was super hot. It was 35 degrees Celsius while we were there. And the heat was bouncing off that ugly black tarmac. And just it felt like we were in an oven. And I did not enjoy it at all. Um, again, I, have some, I just did not enjoy the park. I enjoyed some of the rides. Um, did not enjoy the park. But nonetheless, super excited for the future. It's looking like it's going to be very impressive. I definitely loved the Chocolate Factory. Um, so that was super awesome to go and do that as well. But again, the construction site definitely looks like they got a massive amount of work to do. So uh, definitely uh, super curious how this, this thing's going to be uh, playing out over the next couple months and over winter. I'm going to be keeping a close eye on this now because, again, as I saw it in person, I'm like, wow. They have a lot of work to do, so hopefully they get it done in time for 2020, but I'm sure they will if they finished UConn, considering how far behind they were, then they'll probably finish this as well. And I'm super excited for another awesome B&M in the uh, B&M family for North America. Hope you enjoyed this quick construction update. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't, and share this video for others to enjoy. Bye, guys.